All right, this video is the um, Nook Color running uh, CM7. Uh, they have CM9 for it, but um, it's very laggy. Um, it's almost unusable. Um, CM7 actually makes it pretty, it's a pretty clean process. Um, now the way we put it on here was that we installed, um, we basically flashed uh, a um, micro SD card with CM7. So if you take this card out, it'll actually boot up with the normal operating system. Um, right now, here we have uh, CM7, which is actually really snappy on this. Um, here we can open the app drawer. Um, the, the Nook button here works as a home button. Um, here's the browser, um, which runs just fine. Um, notifications very quick um, got a game on it um, there is a phone on it which um, obviously this is a nook color so there's no mic so it would be very difficult to make a phone call um, it's uh, up top you have a bar that you can kind of move around to wherever you want on the device top bottom you can even get rid of it if you want. Um, I recommend keeping it because that's the only way you have a physical or an actual back button. Um, and that home button obviously is down here um, as well. Um, let's see your settings. Tablet. Here we go. It is running uh, gingerbread. I don't know if you can see that. It's 2.3.7, um, but very good. Uh, this is running on a 4 gig micro SD card. Um, obviously, larger would mean more. You'll have more storage space because right now the operating system takes a good bit of it. But if you have a Nook Color and you want it to work as you know the same way most other Android devices work, it's a very easy process. Um, you can find the instructions on AndroidAdvice.com. Um, it will make it pretty quick um, and uh, you know work like a normal tablet as opposed to just a reader um, so that's it